These superhero movies more than save the day. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 superhero movies that changed everything. Call it, Captain. All right, listen up. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at movies that changed the superhero genre as we know it, and, in some cases, impacted the entire film industry. And that's exactly what this is, a love story. And to tell it right, I gotta take you back to long before I squeeze this ass into red spandex. Number 10, Wonder Woman. Then I'm willing to fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. It's weird to think that Supergirl, Elektra, and Catwoman all got live action solo movies long before Wonder Woman, the most iconic heroine of all time. But while Wonder Woman wasn't the first female-led superhero movie, it was the first to achieve massive, widespread success. It was also the first studio superhero movie to be helmed by a female director, Patty Jenkins. And it not only received overwhelming critical acclaim, but also crushed several box office milestones. Considering that superhero movies typically restrict women to love interests and supporting roles, Gal Gadot's spot-on portrayal of Wonder Woman stood out as a beacon of female empowerment. In the name of all that is good in this world, I hereby complete the mission of the Amazons by ridding this world of you. Number 9, Deadpool. Oh! Oh, hello. While there have been several R-rated superhero movies already, most of them were only modest financial successes at best. Oh. I'm touching myself tonight. Considering that the X-Men franchise had always played it safe with a PG-13 rating, it seemed highly unlikely Fox would ever allow Deadpool to take the R-rated route, especially after that Wolverine movie. When the studio finally gave the film the green light, however, their gamble paid off in a big way. This ultra-violent, profanity-laced, Golden Globe-nominated film made over 10 times its $58 million budget, becoming the highest-grossing X-Men movie ever. That's, uh, $27.50. I, I never carry water while I'm working. Ruins the lines of my suit. Suddenly, Hollywood was much more open to the idea of producing adult superhero flicks, such as the Oscar-nominated Logan. <laughs> Number 8, Black Panther. Don't freeze. I never freeze. Before T'Challa appeared in Captain America Civil War, the MCU had already introduced black superheroes, such as Falcon and War Machine. Whereas those characters were limited to sidekick roles, however, Black Panther earned leading man status in 2018. Equally inspiring, the film was helmed by an African-American director and boasted an almost entirely black cast. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. Black Panther went above and beyond simply being a cool flick, utilizing its complex characters and fictional African setting to tackle timely world issues. In an era overrun with race rides, whitewashing, and travel bans, this record-breaking blockbuster spoke to a wide range of audiences, conveying a relevant and important message about unity. The revolution will be live. 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 Number seven, Blade. I promise you, you'll be dead by dawn. 20 years before the King of Wakanda got his own movie, this cult classic did shine the spotlight on another black superhero. But the race of its protagonist aside, Blade is particularly significant for finally doing a Marvel character justice. Up until this point, Marvel Comics hadn't exactly translated well to the big screen. Howard the Duck was a bomb, Captain America barely got a theatrical release, and Roger Corman's Fantastic Four movie was never even officially released. Blade ended Marvel's losing streak with stylish visuals, thrilling action, and pitch-perfect casting. And following Batman and Robin and Steel, Blade also reminded audiences that superhero movies could still be dark, sophisticated, and badass. There are worse things out tonight than vampires. Like what? Like me. Number 6, The Dark Knight. I know why you're afraid to go out at night. The Batman. With Batman Begins, director Christopher Nolan brought the Caped Crusader back to his dark roots. At the same time, he created a more pragmatic version of Batman, who could seemingly exist in the real world. I'm Batman. Nolan upped the ante with the universally acclaimed The Dark Knight. He turns to me and he says, Why so serious? Heath Ledger's Oscar-winning performance as the Joker, in particular, set a new standard for supervillains, combining the colorful nature of a comic book character with the gritty realism of a terrorist. I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you... Stranger. While many other superhero movies have mimicked The Dark Knight, few have proven as smart, challenging, or groundbreaking. He's a silent guardian. A watchful protector. Dark Knight. Number 5, 
Batman. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? As revolutionary as the Dark Knight trilogy was, Warner Brothers probably wouldn't have taken a chance on Nolan's vision if Tim Burton hadn't already set the stage. Outside of the comics, Batman had been developing a notoriously campy reputation over the years. Superhero movies in general weren't all that common, and they rarely veered into dark territory. Batman changed everything, with gothic production design and a story that treated its audience like adults. What's more, Burton delved into Bruce Wayne's tortured psyche, exploring what motivates a man to dress up as a bat and fight crime. For the longest time, it wasn't just the definitive Batman movie, but the superhero movie to beat all others. What are you? I'm Batman. Number 4. The Avengers What have I to fear? The Avengers. By 2012, crossovers were nothing new, but none were more ambitious than this mega moneymaker. Over the course of five blockbuster movies, Marvel had established numerous heroes who could be connected in a shared cinematic universe. Iron Man, the Hulk, Captain America, Thor, Black Widow, and Hawkeye all finally crossed paths in The Avengers. At the time, doing a crossover of this magnitude was virtually unheard of. Marvel pulled it off, however, with an event picture unlike any other. DC would get on the crossover bandwagon soon after with their extended universe. The Avengers didn't just impact the superhero genre. Every major studio wants to cash in on the shared cinematic universe trend now. Is this the first time you lost a soldier? We are not soldiers. Number 3. Iron Man My turn. When Nick Fury appeared at the end of Iron Man, comic book fans could tell that a floodgate of possibilities was about to open. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger initiative. We most likely wouldn't have gotten the Avengers if this film hadn't kicked off the MCU in such a stellar fashion. While Iron Man was not an obscure character by any means, Tony Stark wasn't a household name before 2008. Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. That all changed thanks to Robert Downey Jr.'s charismatic comeback performance and director Jon Favreau's energetic direction. The MCU has stood out from all the other cinematic universes because it's taken the time and care to flesh out its characters. Iron Man provided the formula for success. I am Iron Man. Number 2. Superman Easy, miss. I've got you. you you've got me! Who's got you?! Back in 1978, comic books were generally viewed as kid stuff. With this take on Superman, director Richard Donner set out to make audiences truly believe that a man, well, sort of, can fly. More importantly, he aspired to show audiences just how fun, romantic, and poignant a superhero movie can be. Superman felt like the first superhero movie to really analyze what it means to be a hero. Excuse me. That's a bad outfit! While it wasn't afraid to inject in a few humorous and even corny moments, the film also depicted Superman's origin story with wonder and gravitas. Superman wasn't just a role model, but somebody we could identify with. It's the human touch that made this film a game changer. There must be a reason for you to be here. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm here to fight for truth and justice in the American way. Number 1. X-Men There are mutants out there with incredible powers, Logan, and many who do not share my respect for mankind. Many people point to Sam Raimi's original Spider-Man as the film that launched the modern renaissance of superhero movies. While the blockbuster certainly has its place in history, it was X-Men that paved the way for everything that followed. After enduring a series of ups and downs, the superhero genre needed a big critical hit and commercial success in the year 2000. The truth is that mutants are very real. X-Men answered the call with slick style, a well-rounded ensemble, meaningful themes, and a clear understanding of the source material. Since then, we've gotten better superhero movies and even better X-Men movies. None of them would exist, though, if this film hadn't laid out an essential blueprint. There are more powerful mutants out there. Why should this one be so important to him? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.